Hey, Rob Romarino here with Century Equipment, and we're running a new series of videos here with Century for concepts. So we're taking restaurant, specific restaurant and food service concepts and educating you guys on how our equipment and the products that we sell can fit specifically into your concept. Today's series is going to be about diners. We work with a lot of diners, and in this market here in the Northeast, diners are prevalent. Okay? Uh, they're, you see them on every corner. And I work with the diners uh, to educate them on how our products can work in their stores. And in my experience, the thing that works best in diners with our equipment are milkshakes. Diners can sell a lot of milkshakes. We have diners that sell two, three hundred milkshakes a day. Okay? Usually when I work with a diner and mention milkshakes, they're already selling milkshakes. And how you guys are or they're doing it is taking hand scooped ice cream and the waitresses will scoop it, put it into a stainless milkshake tin, add your syrup, add your milk, and put it on a milkshake spinner. So it takes a few minutes, but the biggest issue with it, it's a giant pain in the butt. And the waitresses hate doing it. And when the waitresses hate doing something, they don't push it. They don't care about it, they don't want to sell it. And when people do order milkshakes at their table, instead of being excited that their check average is going up, they roll their eyes. Great thing about milkshakes, and the bad thing about milkshakes is milkshakes are like a virus. When one person gets them, everybody gets them. So if you have a table of four, five, six, and one person orders a milkshake, I can all but guarantee you're going to sell more. Right? That's great if milkshakes are easy to make, but not if milkshakes are not. Right? So how do we get around this? How do, we, how do we get around the problem that the waitresses don't want to sell milkshakes, and they're a pain in the butt to make, and they take too long, and they're labor intensive, and they're inconsistent, and there's a lot of waste? our CS700. Let me show you how to make a shake with our CS700. Get your serving cup. We'll do a banana shake. We'll add a couple squirts of banana syrup and we'll pull our handle. We'll fill our cup and we have a banana shake ready to serve to our customer. Took about 10 seconds. Now you got another order for a strawberry shake. Take a couple squirts of strawberry syrup Pull our handle. We'll blend it a little bit longer to blend that strawberry in. And in a couple seconds, we have a strawberry shake. Oh, somebody else wants a chocolate shake. Get our cup, a couple squirts of chocolate syrup. And now we have a chocolate shake served to our customers. So in less than a minute, I just served three 16 ounce milkshakes, one strawberry, one banana, one chocolate for our customers, okay? At $5.95 in a diner, we just raised our check to average $18, okay? What's the advantages of our CS700? Well, we talked about how the waitresses really don't wanna push milkshakes in your diner, in your restaurant, okay? Well, why? Take too long to make. Well, all they have to do now is pull a handle. I just made three shakes in less than a minute. So that's gone. Well, there's a lot of waste. As an owner, we hate waste. Well, when somebody's making a milkshake and scooping hand-dipped ice cream, there's no way to ensure consistency in that scoop. All right? So one waitress makes a shake, has extra, goes down the sink. You just lost money. All we're doing here is filling a cup. No waste. Consistency. All right? One waitress does it one way. Another waiter does it another way. Okay? Here, the machine does the work for you. Right? So we have consistency. Product cost. Hand scooped ice cream is probably costing you 15 cents an ounce. The product in here, which is a vanilla ice cream mix, is a nickel an ounce. So you're saving 10, 10 cents an ounce. In a 16 ounce shake, that could be up to $1.20 to $1.50 in product cost that you're saving. So with our CS700, we have speed, consistency, quality, no waste, and low food cost. Okay. This shake cost a dollar. $5.95 your selling price, you just made $5 in profit per shake. Let me learn, learn about your diner. Give me four feet of counter space, two feet for the machine, an extra space for some syrups and cups, and I can create a profit center for your diner and your restaurant. I can help train your staff on how to make these milkshakes, push these milkshakes. The other advantage, you're a year-round business. All we have to do is stock syrups, 
So around uh, the fall, we're going to have pumpkin shakes, snickerdoodle shakes. Christmas, we'll have peppermint shakes. St. Patty's Day, we'll have mint shakes. So we can use our shakes to market for our customers. And a beautiful part in your diner uh, is you have a dining room. So when we sell a shake, even if my table's right there and my milkshake's made right here, I'm not going to walk it from A to B. I'm going to take the long way around the dining room so everybody sees the colorful milkshake that we're selling. Because remember, milkshakes are like viruses. Once one person sees it and gets it, everybody does. With our CS700, we take the hard work out of milkshakes and focus on the profitability in the shake. Okay? Four feet of counter space, sell 15 shakes a day, and that four feet will profit you 15,000 a year. Sell 60 shakes a day, and that four feet will profit you $60,000 a year. Okay? So that's our concept today for diners. If you're a diner and you're interested in learning a little bit more about how we can help educate you to create a profit center for milkshakes, visit our site at Century, S-E-N-T-R-Y, equipment.net, or give us a call at 800-853-8026. Thanks.